Hello there. Hello there, Coles here and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. I'm once again here on my offshore oil rig platform, whatever it is that they call them. How was she doing? She's meant to be on the platform, she seems to have uh, fallen in I guess. And also the boats have disappeared. There's supposed to be boats that spawn right here. But for some reason they're not, so I guess I should put some there. Uh, which ones are we going to get? Just a regular dinghy, we could get one of those. I feel like we should have some more of those up on the platform. As like, lifeboats, or whatever they're called. Is that what they call them? Lifeboats, life rafts. Uh, I think we should have another boat as well. I think I'll get... In fact, maybe a submarine would be pretty cool, to be honest. We'll get that, and then we'll get a boat as well and put it in, in front. Hopefully that doesn't... Um, they don't kind of like glitch out because they're right next to each other. Where even is it? Ah, there it is. Okay. We've got some boats, we've got a submarine. We are ready. Alright, let's head up onto the platform. So, I haven't done any research since the last videos because, you know, I kind of have a life and don't really spend my time reading about oil platforms. So yeah, I don't really know, I still don't really know what I'm doing, basically. Here's the staircase that we made in the last video, I don't know why he's stood on the handrail, it's not really a good place to stand. Oh great, not another one of these things, where is that? Must be down here somewhere. That's a... Uh... Flipping heck, this is going to get very annoying. Okay, we did it, we got it. Thanks for a seed, I really need that over here on an oil rig. In the last video, as I mentioned, we built like kind of the, these stairs and the railings and a bunch of other things. Well, we actually built this whole building right here. I almost forgot about that. Um, I guess I should put a roof on it, like on these buildings over here. So we'll quickly do that and then we'll possibly build a pipeline to the islands, whichever direction they're in, I can't tell because they haven't rendered in. Okay, so what do we need? We need to build, basically. Alright, what colour grey is it? Is it light grey or dark grey? Okay, I think it's that colour, yeah. Right, we'll go with that. And yeah, let's do it. Moon Toad, yo to you too. Can we play? Uh, after after this. In a little while, in half an hour or so when I'm done. Or however long it takes. Okay, yeah, that was pretty straightforward. I feel like we should probably put something on the roof, maybe some aircon things and stuff. So if I go... Put that there. I suppose. Put that there. And... Put one of these things on as well. Anything else we need? What the heck is that? So that's that's what happened to our boat that didn't spawn. It's spinning around right here. Holy crap. I guess we should get rid of that. Okay. And what else do we need? Maybe some lights. Or a light.
Okay. Okay, here we go. And what's this building going to be? We haven't really thought about that yet either. Alright, I'm just googling oil platforms at the moment. Whoa, what the hell? That thing is massive. Look at its tiny little legs as well. I'm kind of surprised that thing can, it like, even stands up. How is it not falling over? It's got like a freaking city on top of it. What the crap? We definitely can't really build something like that. That's ridiculous. The best thing might be actually to build the oil refinery on the land and build an oil pipeline from this thing to over there. However we do that, I don't really know. So we have pipeline pieces, so I guess we'll use those. These were made by Moimus, or at least some of them were. Actually, yeah, it's just this one here that he made. You could do with some vertical ones and stuff. For doing this. And I, I have made this. Which I guess we could use. Question is, where is it going to come from? I guess it should come from some oil tanks, but I don't know which ones. I guess maybe it should just come like straight from under here, because the big oil tanks are underneath it. In fact that would work quite nicely if it's like right in between like that. Get rid of that little tank there, so we'll quickly do that. And then we can have a pipeline going under the water and go into the shore, whatever that is. Okay. Well, that's that gone. And now let's see where the shore is. Okay, so it's to the right. Which direction are we looking? Okay, so it's over there. That's good. Okay, so I'm actually going to build a bunch of these, because... I want one that has the top bend, one that has the bottom bend, one that's just straight. And I think they're probably alright for now. So we have this here, but this is the original one that Moimus made. So that's the colour scheme for these ones that we're making, so I'll put that there so we know which colours to use. And yeah, let's colour it I guess. This one I'll get rid of the bottom. Right. I did it wrong then for a second, but I didn't, so it's okay. And then on this one, we'll get rid of the top. Like so. And then we've got to colour it. So this one's going to be, you know, it's going to be platinum metal. That's fine. Yeah, we can just colour it all for now. We'll change the colour of the ends in a minute that's going to have to be done more precisely anyway. Okay, is that all of it coloured? I think it is. So now we want... Is it silver metallic? Let's test it out. Is that the correct colour? That is the correct colour. Alright, and then do the top bit of this one. Now we can save these. <gasps> I just had an epic idea. Right, so we have the, the tunnels that Moimus made, like the modular tunnels. Would it be cool to put those underground down there? I think it could be pretty cool. I'll save these first. And then I'll have a think about it. Pipe. 
shape line. It is an L shape. Why do we have to go under the water? What was the purpose of that? Okay. And this one, I mean, what's this? It's not a letter, so I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess pipeline F, maybe, or 7, put it the way around, that could work. Or just the number 1. We'll go with, we'll go with 7. This is a very epic naming system. And then this is just going to be... I guess this is one. I'm sure we'll do more work on the oil platform as well as time goes by. But for now we are leaving it behind uh, to go to the land. Okay, so we're going here and we search, oh it's already there. Perfect. I don't know if I don't know if they do this if they have pipelines from oil rigs going to the land. But in Lego Worlds we do, so yeah, that's just how it is. I like how it's that's perfectly aligned. Like right in between those two tanks. And it goes down and it perfectly fits where that tank was. Okay, that's not high enough. Okay, perfect. And I guess we're just going all the way down to the ocean bottom. The ocean floor, whatever it is. We're at the bottom, but I don't know how deep we want to go with this. So obviously it depends on whether I'm going to actually build underneath or not. And if I am to build underneath, what are we using? Okay, so we've done that bit of pipeline. So this is the kind of thing I was talking about. Yeah, it's got like pipeline in the bottom. Is that something I want to make use of? Or should we just save that for on the land? I think I probably will for now. I will save it for the land. Because otherwise, it's just going to be kind of difficult to do, I think. So we'll take this pipeline all the way along. to the islands. Uh, oh, crap. Okay, so we need to do one of these. We need to change the colour of one of these. Shouldn't be too difficult though. So which colour? We'll do this colour first, because we can just colour the whole thing. I'll make it a lot quicker. Okay. Then change it back to silver metallic. I don't know what I don't know what we're gonna call this bit of pipe. It's pipeline uh, bend. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we'll go for, I think. Okay, uh, we'll copy that. Save. Oh, we could call it V. <laughs> that could work. Alright, 
I guess we just have to um, kind of just go straight through any ocean life and things. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of stuff in the way. And as the ocean bed kind of starts raising up towards the land, I guess we'll have to move the pipeline up. Preferably about now. So what are we using for that? I should have thought about that. I should have made... Why didn't I make just one of these with the proper colours? That would have been a good idea. I guess I can just attach two together though. So I suppose it's not the end of the world. Attach that and attach this. Great, there's a great bloody like pirate ship in the way. I was not expecting that. Okay, there we go. That's quite nice, I suppose. I mean, I guess they would just have the pipeline on at a gradient or something. It's going to take some pumping force to get it up that 90 degree bend and up that straight. Great, okay, so there's, yeah, there's a pirate ship in the way. So what's the title of this video going to be? Building a pipeline whilst trying to avoid pirate ship, pirate ship wreckage. I guess that could, that's a, a work in progress, I suppose. Okay, how far are we? Jesus Christ, we've barely gone anywhere. Okay, I mean, we're getting there. We are getting there. Let's not worry about it too much quite yet. Makes it much easier when the, when the ocean bed is nice and flat. I think I spoke too soon. Look at this. It's just a massive drop. What the heck? Alright, how close are we? I guess we could try and avoid the drop as much as possible. So, I have an interesting fact. A male octopus, one of its eight tentacles is actually its dick. I bet you didn't know that. And um, if, I guess this probably isn't really appropriate for, for my audience. I'll just leave it at that. If you want to know more, I guess you can Google it. But uh, basically, the male has to be careful around the female because the females are much bigger and they are cannibals so the female tends to just uh, eat the male if he gets too close so you know I guess he's got to be like the proper like like alpha alpha octopus otherwise he's just gonna get eaten scary stuff imagine if humans did that that would be pretty scary. But I'm sure having a pipeline directly to the refinery would be a lot easier than than shipping it all. Because there's a constant flow of oil if we do it this way. Which is much more efficient. Alright, how close are we now? We must be getting close. Okay, we are getting there. Oh, 
Why does it have to be a massive plant right there? Let's get rid of that quickly. Our oil line is going straight into the middle of the jungle. Because obviously that's why you need oil in the jungle. pipeline is to the shore. It's not connected to anything yet, but I kind of feel like we should put something underneath this pipeline for it to stand up, if you know what I'm trying to say. Right, okay, so I've tried to put in like these uh, Structural support beams for the pipeline. Uh, not all the way along the pipeline, but uh, kind of far. So all the all the bits that are above the surface here, they they've all got these support beams underneath. And then as we go into the depths, they're not as regular. There's not as many, apart from on the really like tall bits like there. Uh, but most of it, there isn't many. So like on here we don't have any. But then on here we have these two. Then we have some on here. Basically just holding the pipeline in place. Alright, so yeah that is our pipeline done. This video has already been pretty long, so I don't think we'll have time to actually build anything else. We've built this pipeline going all the way along. You can actually see it under this uh, under the uh, under the water there. You can see it all the way along. In fact, I think. It goes all the way to the oil rig. Which hasn't even spawned in yet. So it is quite a, quite a fair distance. There was a pirate ship that we went... Oh, it's over there. There's a pirate ship that we went past as well, somewhere. Oh, it's, I think it's underneath us, right there. We can see it. And... What the hell? Why is there a cannon floating on the surface? If cannons floated, then that bootstrap bill guy from Pirates of the Caribbean would have been fine. Oh look. Police boats are like, floating up as well. But the submarine isn't, it's still at the bottom. What the hell? Okay, so... Yeah, the pipeline goes all the way to here, and then goes all the way up. Into the main oil storage tanks that we have, which I will show you on, on top of a platform here. Yeah, so these are the main two tanks on the platform. I did actually say in the last video that I was going to build some more, so I guess we could do that right now. I think I will probably put them right here. Now we'll just do two for now, I think. How far, how, like what distance are we put in between them? Let's go for four studs. So about that I think. And then we'll join up the little um, little pipelines. Try and use the same colour because I, I noticed I didn't use the same colour. I used a lighter grey on here. So we'll try and use the same colour. Join these the two tanks up first. And 
Moment. And then I guess they should join up onto this one here. But I don't know how I should do that. Perfect, that worked out kind of nicely, I guess. I feel like we should do a little pipeline into the like, central bit like this. Go into that pipe. I don't know. We can fix up the defense after quite easily, so I'm not too worried about that. Basically, we want to join this up to the little bit of pipeline over there. Little pipeline just around this corner. And then we should be good. And. Those in. And then, last of all, put two of these on. Okay, nice. Alright, so we have a pipeline there. Uh, we can put another bit of fence there quickly. To replace the bit that we broke. Uh, what should we type in? Just fence? Will it come up? No, it hasn't. Okay, I don't know what the hell they call it. It's just a bit of fence. A barrier. Right, here it is. Support good good -er. What did that say? A support good -er. Never bloody heard that word in my life. Okay. Yeah, that's worked quite nicely. Warning. Warning. There's a trespasser. Holy crap. We better get our guns out. There's a trespasser on the oil rig. Uh, laser pistol, obviously. That is the weapon of choice. Where the hell is this trespasser? We're going to shoot him. How do we even get up to the next floor? I haven't figured this stuff out yet. Oh. Staircase, obviously, that makes sense. Move! Move your fat ass! Oh, <gasps> trespasser! Holy crap! Holy crap! Get the crap off my oil rig! Come on, I'm not gonna give you another warning. What the hell? How is he walking towards me? Quick, go over here. Hopefully, he can't jump. He's a shark, surely not. Oops. Alright. Trespasser disintegrated. Uh, okay, yeah, so that is it. Oh my god, what the hell has happened to this? That is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. And consider subscribing for more LEGO Worlds videos. And, um... Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Apparently I can't wave whilst looking at the camera. Oh, there we go. Bye.